Have you ever really noticed how awful a trip to Walmart is? Because if you haven't, I want you to take a much closer look next time you happen to stumble into one. And if you live in an area that does not have a Walmart, or you don't live in any of the 28 countries that they've infected, consider yourself lucky. Walmart is not a place that you want to shop at, but more of a place that you have to shop at. Some places don't have an electronics store like a GameStop or a phone store, so you'll have to buy all of that stuff in the electronics department of a Walmart store. Some people don't have any grocery stores for miles because generally, Walmart has killed them all off and they're the only convenient location to get groceries at. And let's be honest, Walmart does serve one good purpose when they sell you shit made in China at a price so low that virtually anyone can afford it. You can get any thing at a Walmart. You know, groceries, tires, video games, baby furniture, clothes, gift cards, fucking dressers and laundry baskets. Some stores still sell rifles and guns, and I mean, you can get anything in a Walmart, right? You will not often have an issue finding what you're looking for in a Walmart, but you know, does this really negate all of the negatives of going into a Walmart store? Walmart customers have a stigma around them, you know, pajamas, dirty tank tops, unwashed bodies, people who don't care to present themselves to the general public with any decency whatsoever. And this place really does fit the stigma because regardless of when you go, you will see these people everywhere. Not only do you have to deal with this, but you have to deal with the general ignorance of people in these stores. For instance, if you've never noticed, all of the main arteries of a Walmart store have two lanes. It's like a road. If you're going in one direction towards an entrance or an exit of the store, you stay on the left side. If you're going in the direction inwards towards the center of the store to do your shopping, you stay on the right side. But often will you have people who are entirely oblivious to the fact that this is how the traffic flow of the store works. See, the reason that this is here is to prevent people from having to take unnecessary amounts of time to shop. It's supposed to be more convenient and help people get through the store faster and with less obstacles. You would think that more and more people would be behind this until you see that there is a family of five in pajama pants walking on the wrong side. And then they have the gall to act like you're in their way. Then there's the people in the aisleways who will stand dead in the center with their carts and block off all access to the rest of the aisle. And then there's also generally some people having the best conversation of their lives right in front of the entrance to the exact aisle you need to shop at. And then these people get a fucking attitude when you say, excuse me. And these are not problems at all grocery stores, okay? Because locally, we have three major grocery stores. We have Walmart, we have Meyer, and we have Kroger's. Kroger's is probably the best of the three. They mix deals in low prices with a decent atmosphere and a generally good customer base that usually acts somewhat decent and respectful. Meyer is the middle of the line, with a lot of elderly people shopping there. They sometimes have good deals, but the atmosphere is awful because it's just like Walmart when it comes to the aesthetics, which I'll talk about in a minute. At least the people who shop in Meyer are always decently dressed, and they usually don't have an issue being polite and staying out of the way of others and not causing problems. But Walmart? No, no, no. They will sell you shit on a stick for 50 cents. Welcome the pajama pants, and it's the only store where I generally see any issues with the customers and how they act in the store. Walmart is like a prison. It is so bland to shop in a Walmart that it will suck the soul out of your chest. All you see is that baby blue on the walls, shit brown flooring, metal ceiling, gray shelves, odd lighting, awful customer uniforms. It's all awful. Even the modern stores are aesthetically unsatisfying. Look at the Kroger stores, you know? Notice that even though they have awful flooring too, there's plants everywhere, there's more color, there's decorations. They took the time to make the place look and feel inviting much more so than a Walmart store will. A Walmart store is ugly, okay? And going through one of their stores is just obnoxious because you see everything the same. It's like you live in a 1940s movie. It's nothing but gray everywhere, dyed down colors, or colors that are too extreme to even want to look at. Everything is plastered in a Walmart logo. It's awful. When I come into your store and combine with all of these other elements, it's making it hard for me to want to shop here. Why would I spend slightly less money, basically a couple dollars less to shop here, where it feels like I'm being walked around a giant prison, when I can go and shop better, get better products for slightly more, half a mile away? It's, that's stupid. The employees in Walmart all look and act like they hate their job. I mean, from the managers all the way down to the cashiers and greeters. Half the time, greeters are just sitting on one of the benches not doing their job, which is to say, hello, welcome to Walmart. Not too demanding, right? It's nitpicky, I know, but 
You know, what's the point in hiring a bunch of people who don't care about what they're doing and in instances like this just don't do their job? I mean, really, come on now, you can't blame the employees, you know? They're not making much, they have an awful job, some of the customers speak to them like they're animals and berate them, and then you have the corporate chain of command that's probably just barking up their ass about not offering, you know, a coupon to a guy who just bought 500 in groceries or something. And it isn't like Walmart's a great place to work. I mean, the, the company has historically treated employees with carelessness they're subject to dealing with more than what they really deserve. I mean, but can we at least get them to look like they don't want to die at work? And then, of course, you're going to have the people, you know, if you want, if you didn't want to work at Walmart, you should have perhaps just went to college and gotten a degree. And, you know, yeah, that's true. A lot of people, they made the wrong decision and now they're working in Walmart. But you know what they don't deserve? They don't deserve people to talk to them like they're animals and dogs for like $10 an hour, okay? That's, I'm not saying they deserve a pay raise per se, but I'm saying that they should have more bonuses. They should have better treatment from the company itself, especially considering with what they have to deal with, you know? And then they have these vests that they have to wear that are atrocious, you know? They look uncomfortable, they're ugly, and I'm sure that wearing them is just, it's not the most pride-boosting attire. They're not refereeing a soccer game or directing traffic, you know? Let them wear, you know, a polo or a Walmart t-shirt or something, for Christ's sake. They do deserve to be treated better than to be made to wear some vest that probably has been cycled down through employees for a decade, and, you know, standing around looking like they're miserable. Not only that, but half of the employees are just absolutely useless, you know? And I don't know for sure how Walmart directs their employees, but I've noticed that most of the time, especially in electronics, the staff there have zero idea about anything in their area, you know? They don't know about video games, they don't know about music, TV shows that you're interested in, the newest smartphones, it's like Walmart takes employees who have zero clue about anything in that department there and leave them there for the fish to feed on. Walmart, if you spent just a few extra dollars training your employees better for customer service and getting them accustomed to different departments to work in, your store would significantly improve. You'd no longer have to worry about people not being able to find things that they want which would make you profit. You don't have to worry about customers ditching Walmart entirely because the employees there don't care which would make you profit. You have virtually nothing to lose in the long run, you know? I can shop online at any retailer and get the same product without dealing with people. So what is incentivizing me to come to your store if I can't get an employee to help me find what I want today? Of course, this is the biggest issue that's affecting, you know, retailers and things like that in the United States now is online markets basically taking their customers. But it's issues like this that they haven't been able to solve and if they did solve would probably help boost their profits and help, you know, kind of quell the whole online market. In the long run, Walmart is pretty set up for success. Nothing is really threatening their business except for themselves. You know, Walmart, they have this stigma of just being the bottom of the barrel. And unfortunately, they do hold up to that stigma. I mean, their stores are just unappealing to those of us who don't want to spend a long amount of time waiting through shops who are rude and, you know, employees who don't know what they're doing and they can't often help you much. The stores are designed to make you feel like you're sitting on Rikers Island for some reason. I mean, can we get something to touch this place up a little bit? Regardless, Walmart serves its purpose well, selling cheap things cheap. Ironically, you can get a bunch of American flags for 98 cents a piece on the little sticks that are made in China or Taiwan. Our biggest economic rivals are making profit off of us wanting to be patriotic of our nation and that's because Walmart is fueled by that quote made in China. Cheap products sold cheap fund their entire empire and unfortunately it's an empire that has overshadowed the customer for a long time now and it's going to get worse if they don't fix these issues. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy make sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch for updates and more and until my next video guys this is Optimus signing out.